Hey, Mighty Kids, it's Luke. Look, we're going to have an amazing Sunday, amazing Mighty Kids Digital. But before we get started, I want you to pause, think about it. Have you said Happy Mother's Day to your mom yet? If you haven't, you got to go run to her, give her a big bear hug, kiss it, and say, Mom, I love you. Happy Mother's Day. All right? Ready? Go. Good? All right, let's get started.
So like we said, guys, today's lesson is about Mother's Day and very specifically someone in the Bible who's an amazing mother. But I'm going to let Sister Patty go ahead and talk to you about it. Praise the Lord on this special Mother's Day. This month, we've been focusing on great women of the Bible. Today, we will be speaking of a special woman that happens to be a special mom. This woman's name is Jochebed. Can you see that? Hmm. Jochebed sounds different. In the Bible, we learn that Jochebed was the daughter of Levi the priest and later married and had three kids. But the struggle in the biblical time was pretty scary. Let me share with you the story of Jochebed and her amazing faith in the Lord that saved a nation and carried out God's plan for all his followers like you and me. This story is found in Exodus 2, 1 through 10. Come on. A long time ago in a place of hot sandy deserts and high pyramids was the land of Egypt. This land had a leader that they called Pharaoh. The Pharaoh was not a kind man. The Pharaoh was threatened by how the Hebrews had multiplied in numbers. So he made them work hard as slaves. The Hebrews prayed that God would one day deliver them from this bondage. The Pharaoh then made a crazy law. All boys that are two and under cannot live. This, of course, made all the mommies and daddies sad and very scared. Many parents had their boys taken from them. This brings us to Jochebed. Jochebed had three children. Aaron, the older son, who was working hard as a slave. Miriam, the daughter that was a young girl who was probably a big help to her mom at home. And a new baby. A baby boy that Jochebed loved very much. But this baby boy meant Jochebed was now facing the fear of Pharaoh's crazy law. She loved her son and prayed to the Lord for direction. Announcing to the family, we will hide the baby, keep him quiet, and allow him to sleep as much as possible. Under a lot of fear and pressure, she and her family hid the baby for three months. But soon, the baby grew and did not want to sleep as much and wanted to play and be a regular baby. It was harder to keep him quiet. It was harder to keep him hidden. With a baby crying, she was sure that Pharaoh's soldiers would find and take her baby boy. Jochebed would pray and pray. She knew the Lord would give her direction. The Lord has inspired me to make a basket of bulrushes to float the baby down the river. Although Jochebed loved her son, she knew he was in danger. The only thing stronger than the love for my baby is the love and faith that I have in my God. I am trusting that God will direct the basket and keep my baby safe. Miriam, hide yourself in the reeds on the side of the river. Keep watch and see where the Lord leads him. Jochebed knew that the Lord has a plan for all lives. The basket floated into the palace where Pharaoh's daughter was swimming in the river. She heard the crying baby and opened it. One look at that beautiful baby and she instantly loved him. Oh, baby. 
You will be my son now. You will be a prince in the castle. I will name you Moses. The baby continued to cry. Moses, are you hungry? I have no milk to give you. Miriam quickly came out of hiding. I know. I know of a woman who can feed your baby Moses. She recently lost her child and has plenty of milk to give your hungry baby. That would be wonderful. I will pay this woman you speak of to feed my baby. What is this woman's name? Uh, her name is Jochebed. I know she would love this job. It was a miracle. Through the amazing faith that Jochebed had in the Lord, baby Moses lived. And the miracles continued. Moses grew up. He knew who his real mom was and knew the God she served. He knew of this real God and of his real power. And he grew to be a servant of the Lord. The Lord used Moses to carry out many miracles. And it all started with a mommy's love for her baby and her faith in our wonderful God. Isn't that wonderful? Jochebed had complete trust in the Lord. Whenever we are faced with a problem, we can all do the same thing that that great woman of God did, Jochebed. Let's pray for the Lord to help us. Lord, like this woman, Jochebed, help us to have faith in you and trust in your direction. Help us to pray and to ask for your direction in all of our decisions. Help us to wait and be patient. We know that sometimes your answers come fast and sometimes your answers take some time. Open our ears and our minds and our hearts to hear your direction for our lives. We know that you speak to us in many different ways. Many times it comes through our Bible reading or a word from our pastor. And finally, Lord, when you do give direction, help us to obey. Help us to follow through with your direction, remembering that your ways are always better than ours, and they're the right way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, kids. See you next time. I challenge you to draw Joker bed and baby Moses. Bye, kids. See you next week.